Have you ever wondered why God allows so many difficult things into the lives of people who love him? Yet he will allow difficult seasons, and he will allow painful moments, and he will allow grief, and heartbreak, and heartache, and loss. And God just allows so many difficult things into our lives. He, he lets them happen. And some people get stumbled by that. Some people think that if God really loved me, he wouldn't let me go through this difficult time. He wouldn't let me have all this pain and sorrow in my life if he really loved me. And I understand why people think that, but it's a very short-sighted understanding of who God is and what he's doing. I mean, if you look at the Old Testament, why would God allow somebody like Daniel, who was one of God's greatest servants, why would he allow him to get in trouble with a king and then fed to a group of lions? Why would God allow his friends, uh, his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, why would God allow them uh, even though they're standing up and doing what was right to be thrown into giant fire why would god allow david who was god's anointed king why would god allow him to live homeless and fearing for his life for years and fast forward a little bit why would god allow his only son to suffer and die in shame god allows hard things into our life from time to time and it has nothing to do with how much he loves us he he loves you beyond your understanding and even though your circumstances uh, may be telling you something different maybe telling you that god has left you god has abandoned you god doesn't care those are lies he does he's always doing something when he allows something difficult into your life it's because he sees purpose in that Sometimes he lets your heart be broken so he can let you experience the joy of his healing. Sometimes he lets you suffer a loss so that you can learn to trust in him. God allows difficult things into our life because he is forming us and shaping us. He uses those bad things to bring about good. And the greatest example of that is a man named Joseph in the Old Testament. If you don't know his story, you can find it in Genesis 40 to the end of book of Genesis. Joseph was a, a favored son. He had a great family life. Everything was going great until his brothers turned on him. His brothers hated him and his brothers sold him to a traveling band of slave traders. Joseph gets taken from his hometown, sold as a slave, moved to Egypt where he serves in a home where he's falsely accused of a terrible crime and he gets thrown in jail. <laughs> Joseph the early part of his life was just a disaster in his own eyes. He was a slave, abandoned by his family, cut off from the people that he loved, and then ultimately rotting in jail. And if you know the end of the story, God uses all that. And one day, uh, he, he's in a position of power, and his brothers come back into his life, and they don't recognize him. He has changed so much. And when he reveals himself to his brothers, he says, It's me, Joseph. Don't be afraid. And here's the life lesson that Joseph was able to learn. God had allowed all of those difficult things into his life. And Joseph said, what you meant for evil, God used for good. And if you go on and read the story, God exalted Joseph to the second highest command in Egypt. God used Joseph to save thousands, maybe millions of people because of his wisdom in, in governing that nation and caring for the crops and grain that was coming in. So God would allow that evil, that painful, abandoned tragedy into Joseph's life because God was going to use that bad for good. God was going to use it to change Joseph. God was going to use it to bless the people around Joseph's life. So for you, if God is allowing a difficult season into your life right now, hang on, don't give up don't believe the lies about God. God loves you. Even though he's allowed that difficult thing into your life, it does not mean he has left you. Your job is to just keep pushing forward. Keep your faith strong. Keep doing the things that honor God. And in time, God will use what was meant for evil in your life, and he will turn it into something good. And he won't just bless you with that. He will bless the people around you. So for you, if you're in a dark season, hang on, look to God, keep 
the faith. Keep moving forward. Keep doing your best to honor God and trust that he knows what's best for you. And not only does he know what's best, he's working his best in your worst moments.